Better a zap, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Please, they beg me. Father, just hang up. Hello. You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. I still want to know why you're calling me. Okay. I'm a bell bondsman, so I can get away with it. I get their government check and get high. I still don't understand why you're calling me. Yes. Yes, I know. That's It's always that way. Well, I think you're a motherfucking chicken shit criminal. No. That I can understand. You're a piece of shit. You're a cancer to America. All right, Get homie. a job, motherfucker. Get a job, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hello? I, I, I don't understand why you're so mad at me, sir. Because I don't accept this motherfucking chicken shit call. I'm sorry. You know, I don't believe I know any what I'm talking this. about. I'm no youngster. I'm Just 72. Lay, lay off from me. How old you lay are. off from me because if I'll give you a curse, you're going to be dropping dead tonight. So no. lay off. Because I didn't do anything wrong in my life. But you are doing. You're not respecting yourself, your family, and you are going to be rotten in jail. 92? So get off. I could give you an advice. Get a job. Is stay away from those criminal things. And how long That's have you what been I on the job? You, okay? That's why I don't want to talk to you. Okay. I have a dozen calls every day from those motherfucking chickens and the criminals because they don't, they want to skin people alive. I don't believe you. They call any me for cars. I I'm don't have any cars. I don't know how old you are. Never did and never will. Yes. I don't have any credit cards at all. Yet, they tell me it was taken on the Amazon for $1,535.37. So uh, I know I apologize. It's a motherfucking chicken shit life because I don't have any cars. I'm so 72. Good, I don't know how old you are. Have a good day are. and God bless you. Okay. Hello? I'm 72. I don't know how old you are. I've been a bell bondsman for... 46 well, years and a cop before you're, that for you're four a little or five years. You're sick of money. You so, say I mean, 72. I think I've seen it all. Well, I'm 95. 92? I said 95. Wow. I'm 95 over. I'm 95 in three months. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. So what do you want to say now? You want to lay off for me or not? Yes. Be honest, Robert. You want to lay off from me or not? I'm Orthodox and I'm Jewish. And I want to tell you, Mexican? if I give you a course, which I don't want to do it, you could be a good gentleman, you know, if you just get out from those criminal business. Okay. I bless you. Not just curse you, but I'd rather bless you. I've got a uh, firearm. Well, you need to get some better firearms. Why are you telling me that? So you want to know what the bellbine business is all about? You and I have gotten along fine, and I don't know why this is happening. I never, I never knew you, and I don't want to know you. Okay. So lay off from me. I ask you for a favor. Lay off from me because I don't want to get a heart attack. Uh-huh. My son tells me, I have three sons. They tell me, when those criminals call you, please, they beg me, Father, just hang up. Don't talk to them. Don't talk to them. Okay. They enjoy that you're aggravated. And I don't, I don't feel good lately, and they don't want me to talk. If they would know now, they would have a big argument with me why I answer for the call. So lay off for me, and please, do me a favor, don't call me, because I'm going to report that to the police right now anyway. Boy, but don't call sick. me anymore. I'm sorry it happened. Okay. Don't Goodbye. call me anymore, please. I'm sorry. Bye. All right, Thank homie. You. Bye. Bye.